Hi, my name is Imani and I'm a rising astrologer. We are doing a December signature challenge on my channel. Today we are talking about Mars in the first house overlay, which this, this is my favorite overlay. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Honestly, the one guy that I've ever, um, <laughs> the one like real connection I would say I've ever had in life, I had this overlay with this person. But I think this is the best overlay that you can have in any type of relationship romantic relationship or friendship first house just makes things so intimate if you watch the moon in the first house one you heard us talk about pda and little kisses and cuddles with mars in the first house there is undeniable attraction i don't care what either party says y'all can front about it all you want you guys are intensely attracted to one another more than you've ever been with anyone else and it's not even to say that you think this other person is like the best looking person there is out there but there's something about this person that they're confident when they embody that and you see them stepping out in the world and they're just being authentically themselves as the mars person you are turned on by this to an unexplainable degree. This one is very sexual. It's like one of the most sexual overlays out of all the Mars overlays. And I, I mean, I'm just saying it's probably gonna be the best sex of your life. The heat is there, it's underneath the eyes and like, it's very aggressive. Talking about Mars, like with the moon, it's obviously it's not gonna come off too strong. The moon's very soft. You know, it's keeping it classy. But with Mars, it is giving slow me out, you know? Like, there is no degree of self-control here, nor should there be. Like, if you're lucky enough to have this overlay with someone, embrace it. Like, don't waste time trying to play all hard to get. When this overlay exists between y'all, y'all ain't hard to get at all, so. <laughs> Outside of a super intense sexual attraction, which is honestly the most of what goes on with this overlay but outside of that the mars person really desires to see all the dreams of the house person fulfilled the mars person sees the house person stepping out in their confidence and they want to be the fuel to your passions whatever that is so if that's if your passion is your career as the house person they want to fund your career. If your passion is you like cats and you want to be able to take care of your own cats, they'll they'll take care of your cats for you. It's like they just want to see you happy. They just want to see you thriving. They want to see you uplifted. They want to see that confidence come come out because that's what gets them going. So it's a very like supportive aspect, very much number one cheerleader. You just, it's so nice to have an overlay where you just never have to doubt someone's intentions because not only are they saying it to you, but they're also showing you very consistently. And that's an awesome feeling like, ah. But the house person also teaches the Mars person like that it's okay to show up as an individual. I feel like the Mars person thinks that they're doing that and when they meet the house person they start to realize that like perhaps their ambition and their drive at times they may actually put their authentic self to the back burner in order to be able to navigate the circumstances of the situation that they're trying to win at. Because the Mars person they care about winning in society and the house person kind of brings the Mars person back to their roots and it's like at the end of the day the true win is being yourself and that's something no one can ever replicate. This one's Loki a power couple like Mars in the 10th oh, I think that's dead compared to <laughs> compared to the energy that the Mars in first can can cultivate when both people are just very ambitious and pour into one another you know there's no stopping what these people can accomplish in the world this is definitely one too where people can be sick being around you because you're it's just maybe uncomfortable for them that there's just so much sexual tension in the room but for the most part people look like this is the couple that no one complains about really when they go out like they're still gonna be the life of the party you know this couple is probably hosting the parties <laughs> but yeah this relationship develops quite fast and 
the biggest thing to worry about with this would be the burnout so you start really fast and you can just end just as fast right because when you guys have emotions that are just brimming off the top of your skin you also have to worry about the anger that comes with that so you guys have quite heated arguments as well which fuels the sex sometimes in a toxic way <laughs> but it's not to be toxic you know resolution just can't be sexy just remember that you two are both passionate people and you both are probably very headstrong especially if there's some fixed sign energy going on in your chart earth sign energy you know don't egg each other on just for kicks and giggles like debating is not foreplay arguing is not foreplay that's the lesson for y'all but for the most part this one isn't as like deep you know it's it's very light-hearted usually you guys get over things just as quickly as well but yeah honestly not much bad to say about this one but yeah uh gonna cap it there we're doing mars in the fifth house next i'm gonna upload it a little bit earlier y'all <laughs> than like the middle of the night but i hope you guys are enjoying this series so i'll catch you at the next one <laughs>